Mr. Paul, many thanks. That was a very kind, indeed overly generous introduction. I am enormously grateful to you for making available uh, the marvelous facilities of, of Credit Suisse uh, so that all of us can gather tonight and consider a subject of importance to the United States. I am uh, equally grateful to Noel Latif for inviting me to be part of this gathering. Uh, Noel and I began talking about a moment to come together and consider Kosovo some months ago, and no time quite seemed right. The crisis remains today in full swing, and so this moment is probably as good as any. I'm also delighted to be in the presence of many, many old friends, um, Bill Lures and Wendy in the front row. Wendy will not admit it, but she has been a major figure in trying to ensure that Kosovo emerges as not, an not only an independent state, but a democratic state that is inclusive and treats all of its people fairly. So Wendy, thank you for your work, and I'm delighted to be in your presence tonight, and any difficult questions, I'm going to send your direction. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, the starting point is, as Mr. Paul pointed out, a month ago, yesterday, the 17th of February, Kosovo joined the ranks of independent nations. Independent, yes. Independent in a very special way, a supervised independence with an oversight body from the international community as described in the Adasari plan, a independence that will have to be protected for some time to come by a NATO force, a NATO force that's been present for 